Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to upgrade to Windows 10 November 2021 update or version 21H2 from any previous version. Although upgrading to the newest version of Windows 10 is usually an easy process, it is recommended to create a full backup before proceeding, in case you need to roll back. You can check the video description to get a link to watch the video on the steps on how to create a full backup of your computer. Microsoft supports multiple ways to upgrade to a new version of Windows 10. In this video, we're going to be using the media creation tool to perform an in-place upgrade. If you are already running version 21H1, 20H2, or 2004, then use the Windows Update settings to upgrade, because if you use the media creation tool, it will perform a reinstallation. You should only use this method if you need to upgrade from version 1909 or older or if your device is having problems and an upgrade might fix the issues. Before proceeding, to avoid problems, disconnect any peripherals such as printers, Bluetooth devices, USB drives, and external storage. You only need a keyboard, mouse, display, and an internet connection. Also, it is recommended to uninstall older software, security applications, and more importantly, third-party antivirus. You can always install them back after the upgrade. If you don't do this, you're likely to run into errors and other problems. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's install version 20H2. To install the new version of Windows 10, first you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. I will be leaving a link in the video description along with the release date on when this feature update will be generally available for download. Also remember that if you download the tool before the feature update is available, it will not install version 21H2. Okay, so on this page, under the uh, Create Windows 10 Installation Media, click the Download Tool Now button. I have already downloaded the file, so I'm just going to double click it to open the setup. Now select Upgrade this PC Now option and click the Next button. Now the Media Creation tool is going to download the installation files. Okay, so now we have to click the set button again. And now we're ready to install version 21H2. But before the installation, make sure that the keep your personal files and apps is selected. If not, your files will not be preserved. If that's not the case, click the change what to keep option and make sure to select the keep your personal files and apps. Once you're ready, click the install button. During this process, your computer will restart a few times and it will take about 30 to 40 minutes depending on your system configuration. And since this is an upgrade, you will not have to go through the initial setup so it will go straight to the desktop And that's it, you have successfully upgraded to Windows 10 version 21H2. You can quickly confirm that you're running the new version by opening Star and looking for Settings, opening the app, and then on System, About, 
under the uh, Windows specification settings, version should now be 21H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.